Hello, Mr. Tenke here, number 665, Dear Management. Um, I was doing a consulting gig recently and the question came up regarding their benefits program. That question being, how are they as compared to the competitors in regards to the range and depth of their offerings, okay? So my job was to review and see if I had any comments, suggestions, etc. But before I go there, I wanted to bring out the whiteboard. I know you guys are all excited. Um, and list out kind of what's in kind of standard plans. They're always changing and um, these are pieces of it. So just, um, and I highlighted the big ones. So if you're gonna spend money strategically, spend it in these areas at least, okay? So insurance, medical, dental, vision. I highlighted medical because we all know the cost. So the amount of money you're putting in there and also when you put them in, um, and what I mean by when is some I've seen companies do 60 days, 90 days. Um, that's not standard for the industry and your competitors. Um, so you're at a disadvantage and it just causes angst with your employees. Um, and this is important to them. This is, you know, these things, compensation. Uh, FSA, they want that money being taken out pre-tax. Of course, you know, that's their standard. So hopefully that's in their plan. Um, PTO, you're starting to hire millennials now. That's what's coming up the pipeline. They care a lot more about their work-life balance and their time off. Um, so offering one week to start, you're putting your company at a disadvantage. I've seen one week, I've seen two weeks for eight years. I mean, it's just, um, I've seen some low ones. That's why a lot of companies are doing FTO plans. I did a video on that one, but flexible time off, um, not a big fan, but even the mortgage companies are jumping into that one. Creative perks. This one I've seen all over the board. I mean, you know, you think of the Google world coming into ours now. Snacks, gym memberships, bus passes, pet friendly offices, work from home, etc., etc. Um, Skittles in your office. Um, uh, so then 401k. This is highlighted red. Everybody knows Social Security is not going to flip the bill. So there you go. 401k. The other ones, incidentals, not really compared. So spend as you will, and a lot of these are group plans, so not too expensive. Short-term short -term disability, long-term disability, life, and then the ancillary insurance, you've got to offer them, but most likely they're 100% employee paid anyway, so I call them the AFLAC packages. So you kind of see that. Um, and there's, there's more, but you get the point. So um, back to the company I was consulting for. Their benefits were light. I would say almost outdated at, for the times. Um, and that's not good, peeps. Not today, not when more and more companies are getting more and more creative in this area. And not as this item is getting kind of a larger and larger viewing from, uh, you know, in the attraction and retention of the best talent available. I mean, this is a market. I mean, the pool is small. So um, what I see too often is many of these owners, um, management, see managing the benefits costs like they do office supplies. Um, and they miss the mark on seeing that offering the best package and, and doing so, they communicate to their employees that they are a, a, a valuable asset to the company. And that communication and that understanding by the employees um, returns an exponential ROI to your company. Um, because employees don't see these things as like, too many staples or pencils um, being purchased, they see it as their compensation and you telling them what they're worth. Um, so that great $100 savings per month per employee that you just did may end up costing you 20% in motivation or worse, push those good employees that are on the fence looking at their competition over it, okay? Um, and I'm not saying costs aren't important. I mean, I'm an accountant, I count beans for a living. Um, but what I am saying is that this area of spending matters a lot to employees. So be calculated in your offerings and how and strategic in how you, you mix and match. Um, and I guess I'll leave this as what my grandma used to say. Stop tripping over dollars to save dimes. And those are my couple pennies. Have a good day, peeps.